you will see I have a scrambled 4x4 in front of me and a 3x3 Rubik's Cube in front of me. Now these cubes are very different because the 4x4 has centers that you need to create and on the 3x3 they're already created for you. You might have already seen my video on solving the 3x3 and I'm going to solve the 4x4 today and this is, I just want to let you know that this is a totally random solve. I did not do anything beforehand. I did not like do special moves to get it to this point and memorize them. That's absolutely not what I'm doing because that would be cheating if it was and I don't really like to cheat. So we are just going to begin right away. So if you enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified whenever I release new videos. And let's get started. Now on this cube, you will have centers and you can sort of use this as a guide um, to like see, oh, green goes here, red goes here on this side and all that stuff. But that's another form of cheating. So I am going to take this to a place where I cannot look at it. There, a place where I will not see it during my solve. Now let's go back to the other room. Okay, everybody, and we are back to the solving room, and we are going to solve it now. So, here we go. And now, this cube is, like, really hard to turn because it's, like, a very bad traditional Rubik's Cube, and the traditional Rubik's Cubes are known for being hard to turn and bad, so... I normally get the Speed Cube variants, even though I don't really do it too quickly. So, yeah, we'll just see how everything goes. Now, you also need to align the centers, like I said earlier. So, you like to get all the centers done first, and then you align them. And there is a special way to align them, so I will show you that once all of my centers are in place. Now, I'm not editing any of this out, so you can see, to both of my sides, there are no notes, like, at all. So continuing the solve, let's continue our centers here. I forgot how hard this thing was to turn. Okay, so we run to a special situation. Okay, here we go. So things are starting to get a little bit better now. Um, not nearly as bad as they were before. So this face all the way down here. And I'm going to get it over here, down, up, and across. I might have solved all of ours and nope, it didn't. But it's really close because now all we have to do is that. But again, that's not the end of it because like this is on this side and it's supposed to be across. Because green's supposed to be across from blue and orange is supposed to be across from red, so nothing is in the right place. So we are going to move all these down by just doing this simple step. Okay, so now that is across from yellow. Now, okay, so, so red needs to go on this side. So now so red okay so now orange has to go on this side perfect now everything should be good this is across from this this is across from this 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 okay everything is good now we are going to move on to solving the edges which i find to be the hardest part just personally because it's like extremely hard but let's just start it so the solving of the edges themselves aren't really hard because um we can just line them up like that it's when they get to the end because they can all like clump up and stuff and they can get really really hard but um But I have been able to solve this for a few months now, and I've obviously done a lot of these solves because I like solving Rubik's Cubes, I mean, that's what I do. Um, I'm 
Okay, so we are getting pretty close to having them all done. Um, you know, it might not be all that close, but we're definitely getting there. Slowly but surely. Where is my other... Um, where is blue and orange? I'm going to be stuck finding blue and orange forever. Um, blue and orange. And blue and orange. Perfect. Um, what? Oh, oh, they're across from each other. Oops. So, now they're lined up. And now we can bring them over. So, blue and white. Okay, blue and white. So that might be it. Nope. I always think it's it when it's not, so. This goes to show how much I dislike solving these. And there's a plane passing over my house in case you can't hear. <laughs> so, what we are going to do now is we are going to take this up and take it across. Now, as we move these up, I like to take away all ones that look like this because they might have different colored edges. So I like to deplete those so I don't get tricked and I think all of them are done. Then I continue to proceed with the cube and everything's just all wrong and it's like bad. So we're just not going to go that route. We're going to be safe. So this is like really hard. Okay, so I'm going to break this one. Okay, we can flip sides and we can move it. Okay, so no special situations yet, I guess that's good. Notice I do say that. Um, so when I wrote this, is there a place to put this? on the cube itself. Where is there another spot? Okay, so on the opposite side of the cube, there's a spot. So what I can do is this. Didn't get on camera too. Okay, there we go. And we can line it up like this. So that's okay. And are all of my edges complete? Yes, they are. Now we basically solve the cube like a 3x3 three three and I'm pretty good at that like you saw in my other video. Uh, so this is easy, we make the uh, thing on top like we always do. And now we basically have it in the bag from here. So. Down, and down. These cubes are like so hard to turn. Have I already mentioned that? I think I have. Um, so there are three others. Bring this across. Um, oops, open my screen. Okay. So bring this down here. Things are going to be good now. We are. I'm getting better at solving 3x3s three themselves, so that in turn makes me better at solving all Rubik's Cubes because you use the 3x3 three three parts in every single Rubik's Cube, so that's nice. Okay. Um, I'm trying to go as fast as I can through this, but I'm going to stop it on that one. I'm gonna mess parts up and stuff, and it's not gonna be good. I think it's kind of scary that I can do this part without like, thinking about it. And I'm not staring at my video screen, so that means I'm just doing it from my own eyes. So maybe I should do it from the screen so I can see what you guys are seeing. Put it down, and this my whole 
15 seconds? Yes. Okay, so we do have OLL parity here, so I'll just fix that real quick. And, oh, and over, up, and down. Okay, so that's fixed, and we can... side and here we go putting it down and did that solve it no now we also have parity here because these two this is called PLL parity so let's fix that and back and everybody this is the final turn it's done the cube is done well I guess now we can go back and retrieve the 3x3 three three now that I'm done okay let's go back well I hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you did definitely leave a like subscribe and ring the bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. And you're probably wondering why these on top are not the same. In the beginning, you can rotate the centers like this, but like you know how I said orange has to be on this side and this needs to be on this side? Even if you like spun them this way, it would be the same. So technically I could have green on top here if I had solved it a different way. But the cube is entirely solved, and if it were not correct, the cube would not be in this solved state. We would probably be at the O, or not the O, the PLL parity part uh, that we were at at the end. And the same thing if I did not do the centers correctly. Oh, oh my god, excuse me. So, that's probably a good thing. But if you enjoyed, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I will see everybody next time. Goodbye.